Welcome to this micro-learning session entitled, Using Zoom's Whiteboard Features. Open a Zoom meeting and click the Whiteboards icon from the Zoom toolbar. Click New Whiteboard. Next, choose how this board will be used in your Zoom. If only you will be using the whiteboard choose presenting. If you want your participants to use the board, choose collaborating. Click the create button. The most basic thing you can do is draw with a pen by clicking on the pen icon in the toolbar. Then click the pen icon again. Use your mouse or stylus to draw a line or shape. You also have access to a highlighter, eraser, you can change line thickness and color. You can have your drawings turned into shapes with smart drawing. With my mouse I'm going to draw an oval and it will snap to a nice oval shape. Now let's copy and paste the shape. Click on the arrow icon and click on the oval shape. Click the item you wish to copy. Press Ctrl or Command and see this will copy the item. To paste it, press Ctrl or Command and V. Now, move it wherever you want by clicking on it with your mouse and dragging it to its new location. You or your participants can now collaborate on this Venn diagram by clicking on the T or text icon. You can now type directly on the whiteboard. You'll also notice a small formatting bar. You can also add text by clicking on the sticky note icon from the toolbar and dragging one onto the screen. Now you can type in it. With your mouse, click and drag the note or the text anywhere on the screen. To add a new page, click Pages in the lower right corner. Click Add Page. Click More Tools at the bottom of the toolbar. Here you have a choice of pre-made items. Let's choose Click Kanban and click on the board to add it. Now your users can click Add in any columns to add their information. You can also change the headers of the columns as you want. You can move the items to other columns with your mouse by clicking and dragging them to their new location. Let's click on one of the cards to look at the additional options. You can assign the item to someone on the board and assign a due date or time. You can even change the color and add labels. That's how you can use a pre-made item. Let's add a new page. Click Pages. Click Add Page. This will be a brainstorming document. Users can click on the sticky note to add their ideas. If you want to keep your users on task during the brainstorming, consider using the timer. Click the timer icon at to top. It may display as a time or a clock icon. Click Start to begin the countdown. You can then click pause or stop or let it run down. Click one of the notes to open the menu for that note. Once the ideas are on the board, users can upvote and downvote ideas to see which the group feels is most important. Click Add Vote icon. Click Upvote. Click Add Vote. Click Downvote. You'll notice a number appears in the upper left corner, displaying the overall vote. You can also add emojis or change the color of your note. Let's add one more page. Click the Add Page icon then Add Page. Here, we're going to upload a document that we can all comment on together. This could also be an image that needs to be labeled. Click Upload PDFs and Images icon. Choose a file from your computer. You can add comments by clicking on the comment icon then clicking on the document. Type in your comment then click Comment. You can highlight on the document as well. Click Highlighter. Change color then highlight something on the screen with your mouse or stylus. There is also a laser pointer that, after use, disappears. Click the laser icon from the upper icon bar. You can use it to highlight items on the screen. Click a color. With your mouse, click and drag laser. It can be used to point to things or circle or draw on the screen. You can share this whiteboard with anyone after the meeting is over. Click Share. You can share with specific people by putting their emails in the top text box. You can also just share it as a link. Click Link Access Options. Click whichever option best meets your needs. Click Copy Link. You can now share that link via Oaks, Teams, email, or chat, just to name a few. 
click close. That's it. You're done.